In Arizona, more than five people a day die from opioid overdoses. That's according to the Arizona Health Department. It's becoming a national crisis, so much so that the FDA just approved Narcan to be sold over the counter. That's a drug that re reverses the opioid overdose. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo is live on the east side where many go to get help who are addicted to drugs. Lupita. Amity Circle Tree Ranch here helps many people get their lives back on track. And today we spoke to a mother who says that she owes her life to Narcan. I've been narcan three times on one overdose occasion um, with the nasal Narcan and the other times just one, one Narcan. Catherine Nielsen is a mother of three and it was the last overdose that she says set her straight. The aha moment was after I had overdosed on the fentanyl. She was a heroin user. She went to jail and realized she needed to change. Not only did Narcan save her life, but she used it to save someone else's life. I had a friend who was shooting up heroin and I um, noticed that he was slouched over and he was like making a gurgling noise and I had to pull out the Narcan and use it on him to save him. So when she learned today about Narcan being approved by the FDA for over-the-counter sales, I think it's a great idea for, for it to be easily accessible to, to anybody, to anybody who is either an addict or not an addict. Jess Losoya is the Vice President of Services at Amity. He also believes this is a good move. He says this may also bring the overdose fatality numbers down. I think it was good news, you know, waking up knowing that some people's lives will be saved and, and hopefully... Uh, will get a second chance, not only at life, but maybe some will say to themselves, you know, this is a turning point for me. Today, Catherine is feeling much better about herself. She has one child with her and her middle child will be joining her soon. She wants people to know there is hope and help. You have to want it. It's only going to work if you want it to work. But not everybody agrees with the FDA's decision coming up on News 4 at 5. You'll hear why. Reporting live from the east side, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.